Hey everyone, it's just time from Circuits and Strings 2. I'm gonna make a little video. A little, there's something. This is the reduction score to box. As you can see, it's made by. This is the Bandwriter edition that I got. This piano reduction. This piano reduction is based on the year text of the new box edition. So this is mo the English trans tra it was translated to English by en Henry S. Drinker, number five hundred one four ninety. So uh, there's also a study score model TP eighty five and the complete performance material BA five hundred one four and also series two band six the full score. So it has the there's the minutes of each of the how long each one of the six. Uh, as you can see, so we have soprano, alto, tenor, and bass soloists, plus a choir, the same voicings. Um, the score, it's scored for two flutes, two oboes, also master soprano oboes, two alto oboes, two French horns, three trumpets, timpani, two violins, viola, and continuo, which is bassoon, cellos, double basses, which are going to be two and fifths, and organ, or harpsichord, or piano, but... Here's all the contents, and there's the preface, which is in English. Now, keep in mind, the continuum will be playing throughout every piece, um, including number 47 to get a better boom. So you see these little abbreviations, so that's horn, so that um, is horns, bassoons, flutes, oboes, mezzo-soprano oboes, alto oboes, organ, or harpsichord, or piano. Timpani, trumpets, timpanis, trumpets, violas, cellos, and violins. So, every so at the beginning of every movement, you'll see the instrumentation. All, on the very first one, you also have the, con the instrumentation and continuum, which is always constant. But each um, the beginning of each one of the six cantatas is really good. Um, and unlike the the complete score so this is a piano reduction score um you can tell right away from it because you can see instead of the orchestra where there's a lot of staves you have just two staves so the little so the really big notes are the instruments the little tiny ones right there are the continual realization which sound good um for choir parts above that and um Here's why a piano reduction score is much easier to read than a full score because when it says if a number of instruments are playing in unison with the choir, then they'll just show the instruments that are not playing with the choir instead on the piano just to make it more playable. Now in a movement that has just continuo, you see the bass notes and the little tiny ones are the continual realizations. Um, so basically, the cello, bassoon, and bass will play bass lines, and the organ or the harpsichord will play both the bass line and fill the harmonies, indicated by these little tiny notes. Now, the realized continuo sounds good, super good, but you know, if you're playing the chorales, you will notice that you're actually doubling the choir. Um, now, on the back, it does give you a complete list of all the vocal scores to masses, cantatas, and oratorios you can get, and even the choir and organ works. Um, being a multi-instrumentalist nerd, I prefer studying music from the piano reduction score because it's much more co it's in a more compact form. Okay, so get this in every piano reduction score there is from the Baron Writer website.